In the arid lands of Wajia County, northern Kenya, pastoralism is a main source of livelihood and limited pasture and water resources threaten its sustainability. Here, the local economy is sustained by rain-fed natural resources, but climate variability has led to scarcity. This scarcity results in resource-based conflicts, frequent migration, and the resultant separation of families. Sisi watu yote hapa amehama. Amebaki tu watoto shule hapa ni mama moja hivi hivi hivi. Ni wale wanamume yote amefugusa ma mafugo yake kwa mahali ngini ya kubata. Hence, government development partners and communities are prioritizing water investments to strengthen resilience to cope with adverse effects of climate change. Since the establishment of climate change unit we have been getting 2% uh, of the development budget of the county for this unit to implement on climate change issues. We have been getting a, a range between 75 million to 80 million every financial year. And on average, it is like uh, county government has spent half a million in supporting climate change projects at grassroots level. However, despite major investments in water infrastructure, the functionality and sustainability of these investments remains a major challenge. Watoto ndio nafuruga sasa fitu yote yote, mapipe yote mafuruga. Na sasa inji yote babi yake matuba tuba. Bahati misuri amepata tu engine bila kuharibu. Hata sasa ingine ameharibu ba. Sisi ndio nitengeleza tena. Jada Dam is located in Wajia Bo Ward of Wajia County, a region where 90% of the population solely rely on fresh water from Jada Dam for their domestic use. Effective management of the water facility has seen the water serving the community since 2016, sometimes for seven continuous months, despite the area receiving below 200 millimeters of rainfall per year. This location has no uh, source of water. If this small water in the Jahaja now comes off, they will go and look water from Wajia, 58 kilometers from here to Wajia. Jada Dam is one of the 24 county climate change fund CCCF investments piloted in Mojir, where funds are channeled directly to the community to independently prioritize, implement and manage projects that build their resilience to climate change through the inclusively constituted World Climate Change Planning Committees. <laughs> This is the Namua. I may work up a fence. I may change up a tank. I may change up a yo, Nini, Malia, Kunya, Maji, Hapa, Yellow, and Nini machine, traps. I may work a Malia, Nini, Kamahi. I may work a Hapa, Nini, engine Hapa. I may work a Hapa, Ile, Nini, a Koshota, Ile, and Waki Hapa, and Anna, Yema, Matungi, Matungi. The project should not be a project which will bring conflict within the community. The project should be a project which will stay sustained for a long-term plan, a long-term period, not a short-term plan. In terms of sustainability, we are making uh, the, community, the community to make sure this project will be sustainable. An assessment conducted in 2023, seven years after they were implemented, established that 57% of the investments were fully functional and 21% partially functional, with water still available but limited. This project has been implemented in 2016 to 2018, in between those financial years. 
through the county climate adaptation fund and you find that still they are running they are running because it is communities who have implemented the project and there is that ownership level of the project is oriented at the community level so they take it as their property right from the beginning from project siting from project uh, implementation uh, and uh, throughout they were part and parcel of this project. Achieving sustainable access to water does not only depend on physical infrastructure but on the management and governance systems in place to deliver water. Having achieved significant milestones on water provision for domestic and livestock use, the assessment noted the need for meaningful inclusion of women who are now requesting support to utilize this natural resource for agricultural production. Mama, I'm